Yo, what's going on guys? Today we got me here back with another video and today I'm gonna be doing another hurricane forecast video right now <clears throat> and in the tropics right now, so we still got a lot of tropics that we're gonna be talking about right now, so um so far we got we still got Beta, Teddy and Wilfred and then we got we got two more disturbances we gotta talk about. So first off we, we can we gotta talk about um um tropical storm beta. So right now it's still at sixty miles an hour right now. Uh, six miles, six miles an hour. Um, pressure nine ninety seven millibars. Um, right now, um, if you take a look at the track right now, uh, it is moving west or west at three miles an hour, so it's it's speeding up a little bit. Um, it is expected to hit um somewhere in the in the Corpus Christi area. Well, not in the Corpus Christi area. So, yeah, in the hit Texas area. Um. So right now that's still at sixty miles an hour. Uh hasn't really strengthened that much. Um the reason is because um some wind shear there's a lot of dry air and some wind shear right there, so it's really interacting with it. So so if you take a look at the discussion, um it's actually expected to not be a hurricane. So around sixty miles an hour that's peak strength. Take a look at the rainfall. So we got a lot of rainfall, so ten to fifteen inches of rain somewhere in the Houston area so so that's more than the that's about a foot of rain so uh, quite devastating quite devastating um, flash flooding potential is actually moderate 20% in the um, somewhere in the Houston area um 20% chance there's there's um there's now tropical storm watches issue um the hurricane watches have been um has gone have been gone um Tropical storm warning probabilities have uh, ramped up, so right now it's um, a 60 to 70 percent chance of um, tropical storm Wednesday probabilities. Um, and yeah, um, Turkey and Teddy right now has weakened a lot, it's still at 105 miles an hour. Um, 105 miles an hour, um, it's expected to keep weakening and eventually just um. Make landfall, make landfall in, in the Canada area at eighty five miles an hour. So that's a hurricane still, so which is still gonna cause a lot of damage. Uh, but it is, it is expected to really go past by Bermuda by, um, between two a.m. and two p.m. Monday. So, um, struggles storm warnings are still, uh, still issued right now. Bermuda can still can still get some impact from Teddy. Um, tropical storm Wilfred right now isn't gonna do much um because of the wind shear and because of the wind shear is is tearing apart. Um, so disturbance number one. So we got it's it has a sixty percent chance of development over the next five days and forty hours. Um, uh, forty hours sixty percent chance. And it's another disturbance. Um, well, this is uh, this is remnants of Paulette. So. Um, this is, this is, um, actually has a pretty decent chance to become possibly Gamma, re and reform. And we have another disturbance right here, so, it actually has a 10% chance of development over the next 5 days, and next 40 hours is low 10% chance. <laughs> so, this is, um, this is expected to actually move inland to over Florida, um, later this morning. And on development, uh, well, significant, well, rapid intensification is not, is not possible. So, well, it is, it is gonna, it is, well, it is expected to bring some rain to Florida area. So, yeah, um, Florida could get some, right now, it's probably gonna get some, it's likely right now getting some impact from that. But this is not expected to become like, uh, well, like a system or something, or, yeah, it's not expected to, yeah, to develop very really quickly. Um, so yeah, uh, take out Hurricane Teddy. So 105 miles an hour. Uh, pressure 955 millibars right now. Uh, it's expected to, um, hit the Canada area. Uh, I say 85 miles an hour. Category one. Um, as you can see, uh, some a lot of a lot of miles are taking it to restraints a little bit, and then, and then just die down. Uh, beta tropical storm beta right now um has been um right now 
pressure is at 997 millibars, uh, 60 miles an hour winds right now. Take a look. So, all the models are taking it, um, somewhere in the, I think, Brownsville area. Yeah, somewhere in the Browns, making landfall in the Brownsville area. Um, models are taking it, actually, strengthening a little bit more. So, around 55 knots. So, that's around 65 miles an hour. So this is expected. This is probably gonna. This is this is likely gonna get uh, gonna bring flooding to Texas and Louisiana, and after that it's gonna become a depression after it turns off to the northeast. So possibly gonna bring um flooding too to the Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, and even the Tennessee area. Um, this is the remnants of Paulette. So it's still a, it's still weakening right now. Forty miles an hour. But it is, but it, it still has a pretty, pretty decent chance of reforming again. Uh, but this is expected to move east and then possibly hit the uh, North Africa or it hits um, the, the, east, the southern Spain area or even the Portugal area. So keep an eye on that. Um, tropical storm will through right now, so... As you can see, it's kind of getting ripped apart right there, um, falling apart right there. Uh, but this is expected to become a depression by 2 a.m. Monday, then soon just not going to do anything and fall apart. <laughs> so, yeah, um, let's check out the models right now. So, check out the what the GFS, uh, uh, the CMC, and the ICOM model shows. So, this is what the uh, GFS showing. Uh, Jeff is showing um, Teddy to be a 952, 962 millibar hurricane um, after it actually makes landfall in the Canada area. So yeah, still pretty strong hurricane around around high category too. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, uh, yeah, take a yeah the people in Canada right there um just just keep an eye on that because that could do some significant damage. <laughs> Um and, and it's also showing tropical storm beta to be very slow moving storm and then make landfall somewhere in the Brownsville area and then to make a second landfall in the in the Cameron area. Yeah, and, and that's the same that's probably the same place where Laura made landfall, yeah. Yeah, so September twenty fourth, so it made two, already two landfalls and then and then soon it's just gonna turn off and then and then bring a lot of rain, uh, bring a ton of rain to the to the uh, states, uh, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Carolinas, eventually. So by September twenty fifth on Friday. <laughs> but GFS is also showing another system right here that could possibly be another another threat. Um. So yeah, that could be that actually could be could be actually Delta right there. Um. Could be Delta, and another system right. Here. Well, there's a bunch of systems. Well, there's another system that could form off, so that could be a bluffing. So yeah, that's what the GFS showing. Uh, let's check out what the CMC model is showing. So, uh, this was the CMC model is showing. <laughs> uh, CMC model basically showing the same, same, same thing. <clears throat> Yeah, nine seventy six millibars. Uh, a little weaker. Shows it to be a little weaker for Teddy. Um, showing better to make landfall. Yeah, in the Brownsville area, and then just turn eventually turn off. Yeah, this one's showing not really any system right now. Um, not any more new systems. Uh, so. Last model we're gonna check in is the icon model. So this is what the icon model is showing. Icon model is showing wow to be a very strong hurricane for for Teddy. So nine sixty five millibars, but peak strength around nine forty two. So that's a so that that's a that's already a category four hurricane. So yeah, pretty large storm, but don't know. If, I don't think it's gonna re it's gonna strengthen again before landfall because like the cooler waters. <laughs> Yeah, so it's basically showing the same thing, but yeah, um, but showing a bunch of moisture in the African coast area, so a little concerned about that. And we got a lot of moisture in the Caribbean area and in the 
in the south floor area. So we could get a, um some system right there gonna be forming. Could be. Um yeah, um but yeah guys, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Um let's give a five likes on this video and hopefully you can get to seven hundred subscribers right now. Right now, um ah, kinda losing subscribers a little but but I am still growing. But yeah, um I really want to get to 700 subscribers. I'm I'm so close to there. I haven't gotten to that in like I haven't I really haven't gotten to that goal yet, but that that rack actually made me happy. But yeah, guys, um hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll keep you guys updated and see you guys in the next video. Peace out.